I have one final question uh, if for today I had a bunch more, but don't want to take too much of time. Um, so on the other side, so as I mentioned, Georgetown is my number one. Admission is most important to me over scholarship, uh, but scholarship is important as well, of course. Um, and for uh, schools like Georgetown and other ones that do offer full scholarships, such as um, Georgetown's public interest scholarship, uh, you know, there's seven or eight people who get that every year um, and it's full scholarship. Obviously, I would, I would expect that they're looking for pretty perfect candidates in the sense of high scores and or high GPA and basically likelihood of extreme success in public policy law. Um, but I just wanted to get your, your insights and uh, suggestions as to, or advice as how, what else maybe they may specifically be looking for for those types of scholarships and programs. That's a great question. I actually couldn't tell you one specific thing. It's a, it's a bit of a black box. Okay. But if you make your application, I would say this is really where the numbers are not going to be as impactful beyond a certain, you know, the numbers are not going to differentiate you on this. The numbers have to be a given. It's going to be making sure that the soft factors, the application essays and such are the highest caliber possible. Okay. And so definitely, of course, I get the sense you're very diligent about this process and you'll do this anyway, but mul multiple revisions, multiple eyes looking at it. Of course, you know, we're doing application essay workshops inside the course. Yes. And so feel free Absolutely. to submit your essays for any of these. I'm sure folks would love to workshop the diversity statement with you. Yes. I'm sure we could have a great discussion around <laughs> that. Same for the personal statement too. And any other optional essays also. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.